Hi guys, this is Sal from Retro Evil bringing you a new unboxing of Arcade Block. Sorry I'm making this unboxing a little late. I've been sick for the past few days and I wasn't feeling good at all to film. But I was looking at the box right next to me all the time and I was like, I need to open it. So let's get started. I'm really excited for this month because I know there's something really cool in the box from Mortal Kombat and I love Mortal Kombat. So let's see what we get in this box. Hey, I finally found my knife, so that's really cool. And always be careful when you use sharp things. It's really sad that they're not using the Konami code tape anymore. They're just using white tape, which makes me kind of sad. But it's okay. As long as the cool stuff is still inside of the box, that's awesome. All right, let's see what we get this month. Do, 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 do. Whoa! <laughs> this is really cool. Okay, I'm gonna try to keep it for the end because it looks awesome. And uh, let's see. So we got the shirt as always. It says no kami. I don't know what no kami means. Ah, no way. So they said there was going to be a Counter Strike exclusive. And this is amazing. Check this out, guys. It's a Counter Strike shirt on the style of the old Konami NES cartridges. That is really cool. I freaking love it. That looks amazing. This is awesome. I really, really like this shirt. And it says official Naughty Dendo. They tried to make it sound like Nintendo, but they did a terrible job. All right, let's see what's next. Up next, we have one, three, two, four. Oh no way! This is uh, Scott Pilgrim Brisbane. I recognize it when they say one, two, three, four. But yeah, that that's awesome. <laughs> I like it. Not a big fan of the white color, but still pretty cool. All right, up next we have a little flag. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> this is from Fallout. This is Boston Vault Duelers. Or Dwellers. Or Dwellers. <laughs> That's really cool. Okay, up next we have like the coolest thing of the box. And it is a Scorpion plush. <laughs> I'm really happy that I got a Scorpion. I mean, I wouldn't be happy even if I get Sub-Zero. So this is really cool. I freaking love it. Get over here! That's really nice, I love it. Oh my god. So this is Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, the game, original soundtrack. This is fantastic. I freaking love Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. And the game is really cool. It's really sad that they don't have the game uh, anymore on the stores. Well, in the digital stores. But still, oh my god, this is so cool. I cannot wait to listen to it. This is great. And we got the Retro Magazine. Yay! Celebrating Stealth, which is, of course, Metal Gear Solid. This is really cool. It's a really nice magazine. And if you guys have the chance to check it out, check it out because it's really cool. 
and I don't think they're too expensive, especially if you can look for the digital version, since this magazine, I believe it comes from England. Oh, nice! They have a, an article of how to clean your old cartridges. Goo Gone, Wipes, Mr. Clean. Mr. Clean? Oh god. Talks about a little bit of homebrew heaven. <laughs> Swag from different movies. The five worst force stealth levels. I see a picture of Goldeneye, I see a picture of Return to Castle Wolfenstein. And I see a picture of... Uh, I think that's Uncharted. I'm not 100% sure. That's pretty cool. So yeah, it comes from UK because they have an article. What's going on in the UK? Spies like us. And many, many more stuff. I'm gonna have to read this. And they have an arcade blog sign in the back. Of course. Hmm. And we have the card that tells us everything that came on the box. Of course, the only two figures they have is Scorpion and the guy from Frozen. Let it go, let it go. My name is Sub-Zero. I'll freeze you a bunch. Down forward, low punch. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And it tells you all the stuff in the back. The counter structure, the Scott Pilgrim album. The wristband. Oh, so it was that wristband and it was a red wristband. And then it looks more like the symbol from um, Rock Band. So, let you get a good one. The flag and, of course, the magazine. Oh, there's another card. <gasps> Ooh. Hey, listen. The next arcade block is linking fans between worlds to Hyrule with items from one of the most iconic and influential gaming franchises ever, The Legend of Zelda. If you have got the rupees to spare, you will definitely want to stay subscribed to this to see what's coming next. If you don't have the rupees to spare, you might want to check all the nearby bases or cut some lawns. <laughs> this is really cool. Yeah, I believe last year we got a Legend of Zelda box. And that's where I got my plush, and I got the, the game pad. Well, not the game pad, but the game mat. And this is awesome. And the card looks amazing, too. Some of you guys know my favorite Legend of Zelda game is A Link to the Past on the Super Nintendo. And I adore that game. It's amazing. I freaking love it. So I'm really excited for this box. And I'm hopefully not going to be sick so I can do the video as soon as the box gets here. Alright guys, so let's do a quick recap of what we got today. We got the Retro Magazine talking about Metal Gear Solid. We got the amazing Scott Pilgrim vs. The World game soundtrack. We got the amazing Fallout Little Flag from Boston. We got the really cool Scott Pilgrim vs. The World wristband. We got the amazing scorpion plush. Oh, good over here. And we got the really cool counter strike shirt. Yay! I wonder if I can use the Konami code in this game now. So there you go, guys. That was the arcade block for the month of August. I got really cool stuff, and I'm really excited for the next one. You can always check all the videos that I've done in the past. Don't forget to check out my Force Friday video, which is the reason why I'm sick right now. <laughs> but it was worth it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Rock the D-pad and take care.